May 11, 2017, Travels with Phil continues uh, looking into the U.S.-Dakota War of 1862. This is what's called the Milford Monument. And the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the headline up here is that in the summer of 1862, after years of broken treaty promises and late payments that fueled growing tensions and conflict, some Dakota began an attempt to forcibly reclaim their homeland after attacking the Redwood or Lower Sioux Agency on August 18th, the beginning of what would become known as the U.S. Dakota War of 1862, the Dakota moved toward New Ulm. In their path stood a small settlement known as Milford. There, unprepared for battle, 53 of Milford's residents were killed in a single day. As farms burned, the survivors of these families fled, raising the alarm for the citizens of New Ulm about what lay ahead. And below are some of the uh, stories that they tell about them. Also says the Dakota, too, would pay a high price. An unknown number were killed during the Six-Week War, and hundreds more died later in prison camps or during their exile from the state. There are a few written accounts of these hardships. Their stories remain to be told. And this is the marker itself. The monument, I should say. Love these yellow flowers. The sign says, Erected by the state of Minnesota in memory of the men, women, and children of Milford who were massacred by the Indians August 18th, 1862. I'll try to zoom in. You can see a bunch of the names there. And similar over here. It says this tablet was erected by the junior pioneers in memory of the following men, women, and children of the town of Milford who were massacred by the Indians during the outbreak of 1862. And then it has a long listing of names there. Now, like a lot of these, unless you're a local, you may not know about them. There aren't a lot of signs. I didn't see any signs actually uh, directing you here. There was a uh, small marker on the side of the road that says uh, history marker on the left quarter mile, that kind of thing. But uh, so otherwise you wouldn't know much about it. Still appears to be very good farmland. Look how dark the soil is out there. And again, the Indians did bad things. The American government representatives did bad things. There were a lot of good people on both sides. There were some atrocities on both sides. It was a very unfortunate event. And in this particular case, for all practical purposes, these people were uh, not involved and they were innocent parties. Travels with Phil. The Milford Monument, a little bit west of New Ulm, Minnesota. Back to you.